Do you really want them learning everything about sex on their wedding nights? Steve, I, I feel like ever since you came back from the sexual reprogramming camp, things have been different between us. Their feelings for each other are natural. We should give them the information and the space to safely explore those feelings, because they're people, and sex is part of the human experience. Are you getting this, son? Because I think this is me giving you the talk. Steve? I think there's been enough talk. I can't hold out much longer, son! Jump kick! Dad, you're awake! Is it the future? Did we make it to Mars? Are Legos affordable again? Not quite. But, Dad, thanks for protecting me and Shannon back there. I should have all along. I put so much pressure on having the talk. But there shouldn't be one talk. It should be talks. I may not have every answer, but if you have questions, you can always ask me. I do have one question. May I have this dance? Thanks for making me horny again, Dad. Ow! Sorry, I started sleeping on my side, so I need a pillow between my legs. All right. Dan, I feel like you've been taking me for granted lately. You take my pillow, you go to Hershey Park without me. You always put yourself first. Okay, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Tomorrow morning, you'll be served breakfast in bed. Like a queen or a quadriplegic. <gasps> really? For really reals. Mm-hmm, maybe I should work up an appetite. Sorry, I have to wake up early tomorrow to make you breakfast. Oh, spider bite. Itchy spider bite. Oh my God, it's so itchy. So itchy, Jane Seymour. So it, uh, <sighs> Got it. Mmm, bacon. What happened to breakfast in bed? I know, and what happened to dressing up on airplanes and handwritten thank you notes? You promised me! Francine, Francine, there's a good explanation. You ate it. Mm-hmm. Do you think they'll call? I wonder if they'll call. Maybe we should call them. No, we don't want to seem too needy. It's them. They don't play games. Hey, guys. They want us to go out to dinner. That sounds great. 8.30. It's a little late. It's fine. Say yes, say yes. We'd love to. Okay, see you then. We did it. We have a real live double date. Oh, what am I going to wear? Maybe this blue suit with the white shirt and the black tie. Yeah, that's it. That'll look nice. I'm telling you, it's always funny. Oh, he's right. You can't see a guy get hit in the groin and not laugh. <laughs> <laughs> what a day. Tell me about it. I don't even know where the hell I am. Looter! Self-defense! A black and a white talking as if it's normal. Peter, what are you doing? You know me! Everybody shut up and let me think. Just let me think! Stan, have you... <laughs> oh, man. Classic American dad. Stan, you here for the census? Yeah, did it switch rooms? No, you're in the right place. Hey, get this. I'm the foreman. That means I'm in charge. Me, Tato. But census enumerators are, are hard-charging broncos. All these people, they're losers. That woman's wearing a sweatshirt with a wolf on it. How's she gonna count America? Do I see a bald man with a ponytail? I don't get it either. This is a disaster. This guy, look at her, him. And I hate to do this, but I gotta double back to my boy. Guess I'm just gonna have to count everyone myself. Just the ones I don't get to, chump. That's right. Lazy Haley joined the census, and now she's gonna crank some numbers. Yeah, right, you're gonna crank numbers? That sounds really cool. I wish, I wish I said that. I did say it. Wow. I'm the one who's gonna crank numbers. You're not gonna crank shit, old man. Old man? Ho, ho, ho. I'm gonna crank all sorts of numbers. Yeah, well, I'm gonna crank your whole world. I'm gonna crank it up. I'm gonna crank it down. I'm gonna crank it all around. I'm gonna roast you for Cranksgiving dinner and then roll right into Christmas with the cranks. Not gonna matter, because I'm the New York cranky. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>